Let's talk about a career for biomedical graduates, pharmacy graduates, neuroscience, pharmaceutical science. Anybody in the life sciences field can go into regulatory affairs. Regulatory affairs is a career where you can earn between 20 to 150,000 pounds, with most entry level roles starting at 20 to 30,000, and most mid level roles around 40 to 50k. But what is regulatory affairs? Regulatory affairs is a career where you're working with companies like pharmaceutical companies or medical organisations, making sure that cosmetic products, medicines, anything like that that goes onto the market is safe but also fit for purpose. So you could be working with organisations like the MHRA. This is the perfect career for you if you've got good communication skills, you're very organised, very analytical, you're okay with reading long documents, you're okay working with different people, working in a team or maybe moving up to leadership skills in the future as well. This is a really great career though for life science graduates. That is the particular niche that they're looking for. People with your knowledge in the scientific fields. And it's even better if you can break down your knowledge into simple concepts and be able to convey that with really good verbal communication. So how do you get into this? It is a very competitive field to get into with some entry level roles already expecting maybe a year or year or two experience, but you still can get into it without having experience. And I'm going to talk you through exactly how you can do that. First thing you're going to do if you're still at university is take advantage of the opportunities that are around you. So that could be finding internships, which is usually like a week long internship over summer. Usually apply for that in your second to last year of university. You could also do a year in placements. That could be an industrial placement. So that's a year where you're actually working at a company in that field. Next thing you can do is apply to graduate programs. If you're in your final year of university, you will apply for graduate programs, which will be your first job after you graduate. Now, graduate programs, you want to apply to as many as you can. If you can't get in through those routes, another thing you can do is just start off by applying to entry level roles that can be in quality assurance, compliance and just get your foot in the door. Now here are the job titles that you want to be searching for. If you're searching for grad programs in particular, you want to be looking through websites like Bright Network, Grad Cracker. Here's a secret tip on actually getting in and making sure that you've got the knowledge, even if you haven't been able to get internships or industrial experience. You want to do online courses. Now that could be one day courses on Topra, which sometimes can be quite costly if you do the courses on Topra. But a secret tip is to do courses online. Like I've attached one in the link below. That is Olay's cosmetic course. And that goes through cosmetic regulations and is a real insight into the industry. And they teach you the technical skills and you'll get the buzzwords, which can really help you boost your CV by putting down that you've done that, boost your knowledge so that you feel confident talking about it in an interview. If you're at the stage where you're actually thinking about further education, you're finishing your bachelor's but you want to continue learning, you could do it as a master's. So Topra offers a master's in regulatory affairs, that might be worth considering. And when it comes to writing your CV, you want to make sure that you look at the job description or the graduate program's job description and all the essential criteria, you have to meet every single criteria that is mentioned. So if they're talking about teamwork, leadership, communication, those skills should be mentioned on your CV, ideally in the form of bullet points where you're talking about how you've utilised these skills through leading a team and always quantify each point in the CV. If you're talking about leading a team, mention how many people. If you want more information like this, keep following the page. I'll be talking all about biomedical careers, things like consulting, being a patent attorney, regulatory affairs, and all the inside tips and tricks on how you can get into these careers.